Envisaged as a minimum cost, advanced area defense platform for construction in large numbers, the Ticonderoga class has evolved over the years into what was possibly the most advanced warships ever built. The design was based on the hull of the cruiser-sized Spruance class destroyer. The USS Ticonderoga was originally designated as a destroyer, but was redesigned as a cruiser in 1980 with the pennant number CG-47. The original number to be constructed was 28, increased by the Reagan administration to 30, and then cut back to 27. Eventually 22 warships of this class were built. The USS Ticonderoga was commissioned in 1983. The last of the class was the USS Port Royal, which entered service in 1994. These cruisers were built to support and protect U.S. carrier battle groups, amphibious assault groups, perform interdiction and escort missions. Since its introduction the class has seen action in most U.S. Navy operations. The Ticonderogas were the first surface combatant ships equipped with the Aegis weapon system. It was the most sophisticated air defense system in the world. The heart of Aegis is the SPY-1A radar. Two paired phased array radars automatically detect and track air contacts to beyond 322 kilometers. When it was fielded in the early 1980s this radar was the first of its kind and ahead of anything at the time. At some point a capability to detect and track ballistic missiles was added. The Aegis was designed to defeat attacking missiles by providing quick reacting firepower and jamming resistance against any aerial threat expected to be faced by a U.S. Navy battle group. The Aegis system can control friendly aircraft as well as providing simultaneous surveillance, target detection and target tracking in a hemisphere over and around the ship. It also provides a unified command and control platform for all the vessels of a battle group. The first five ships had two twin MK.26 missile launchers, firing standard SM-2 Mr. missiles. These were designed to cope with saturation attacks by high-performance aircraft as well as low-level and high-level air, surface, and subsurface launched anti-ship missiles in heavy electronic countermeasures environments. From USS Bunker Hill, CG-52, Onwards, the two MK.26 launchers and their magazines have been replaced by two MK.41 vertical launch systems. The 127 cells vertical launch systems can be loaded with standard, harpoon, ASROC and Tomahawk missiles, giving later vessels the ability to engage targets above, on and below the surface. Since 2006 all surviving 22 ships of the Ticonderoga class were improved and received new ESSM standard SM-2 Mod.4 surface-to-air missiles, two RAM missile launchers and also new radars.